May God punish you. May you never know peace. May you never have peace in your lifetime. May that blood you have shed follow you unto. May that blood hunt you until you are dead. May you die a painful death. Guys, hakuna kifo imeuma watu kama ya Willis Ayeko. Willis Ayeko ni nani? Willis Ayeko ni jamana ambaye he is very patriot. Again, he, he is a human resource manager wa pale Wells Fargo. I know you guys you know Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo anadilingi na mavitu mingi including security ma what ma what. Sasa it was on Friday wakati ambao Willis Ayeko alitoka Nairobi akielekea kwa mazishi ambayo ilikuwa Siaya County place inaitwa Game. Amini usiamini he was abducted and senseless brutal. Amekufa kifo ya uchungu sana huyo jamaa. Imagine unaenda mazishi, ulikuwa umeenda mazishi, alafu all of a sudden unapotea. Amini usiamini huyu jamaa. Gari yake ilipatikana Sebatia ikiwa na wanaume wawili. Yaani ni wanaume wawili ni, fu, ni footage ya CCTV ndio ili captured au wanaume waki wakipak wakiwa already washa park hiyo gari yake karibu na petrol station ya Sebatia imagine guys wanaume wawili huyu jamaa unajua alienda missing kutoka date 18th leo ndio amepatikana kama ameuliwa a whole a full asijui niseme what a whole a full Human resource manager. Nyinyi mnajua kazi ya human resource manager Fago ni gani? Yaani yeye ndio anahusika na ku recruit watu, kufanya sijui bla bla bla. Yaani ni kama yani ni kama yeye ndio director bado. So, ni juzi tu wan, uh, watoto wawili wameuliwa pale machako stone wakienda kutafuta mamake. Ni juzi tu Uyu MCA wo, u, MCA wa Wajir ameuliwa ambaye ni Yusuf sijui nani. Huyu Yusuf 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 wa Wajir MCA MCA. Ni juzi tu Seth Nyakio mtoto wa uh, MCA wa Kirinyaga ameuliwa na kumbukeni she was the only child he was having. Ninawauliza ni juzi tu sijui kama mumeona vile wa Turkish walikuwa wameabdaktiwa hapa Kenya. Wakaenda hey, hey, my friend walikuwa wameabda 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 walikuwa wameabdaktiwa wakiwa na waganda. My friend hata hivi karibuni visitors wataacha ku visit Kenya. Sorry, tourists wata, wataanza kuogopa Kenya. Ni juzi tu uhuru park video ime trade sana polisi wakitu, wakiwa wamerushia wazungu matia gas wazungu walikuwa wameenda uhuru park kusherekea mashujaa's day na wao hawajui kama kulikuwa na maandamano wakarushiwa matia gas wazungu wakalia wakasema why are you doing this to us are you doing this to us because we are foreigners what is wrong with with you Muliona hiyo clip vile ilitembea. Wazungu my friend hawajui tiagas ni nini. Walikuwa wanaongea maneno maneno ikikatika katika. Amini usiamini guys, ile gari yenye ni ya huyu human resource manager, ni gari namba hiyo ilikuwa hii yenye mnaona hapa KCW004P. Hey, sijui Kenya tunaishia wapi. Alikosea nani? Ni nini inaweza fanya? Ni nini inaweza what really transpired to all this?
is that uh, is it order from that company is it order from someone he was having some branches with why did they decide to do this because guys i'm in a dilemma and the way at which our kenyans are being abducted and killed it is alarming and we have to be ready for everything in our country kenya is no longer a kenya again a lot of abduction you've seen there recently you've seen what has been happening you guys don't pretend you don't know what is happening look at the way the gen z wamekuwa wakiuliwa hapo nyuma jamaa walikuwa wanaangushwa tu kama 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 mende ushaona walikuwa wanauliwa kama mende kama mende majenzi ni nini hii unyama hii unyama inatoka wapi look at what happened to shakahola look at what happened to kware why is it that these uh, mps they don't want to talk about the the brutal killings which is happening in our country Instead, instead of impeaching Kashagwa, why could they just uh, table these the, these kind of killings uh, and discuss them? Because guys, where we are ending, manzi sijui tunaelekea wapi. Na sasa hii ndio pesa zitapotea. Ju tourists wataanza kuogopa wa Kenya. They will just postpone coming to our country. And you know when the tourists they are they are not coming to our country we are not benefiting from anything okay so guys we have to pray for our country and uh, hey, I don't know guys nyinyi wenye mnachukuanga mtu akiwa muzima you torture that somebody and then after torturing him or her you go ahead and kill him what about what wenye ameacha do you usually think about the people it, 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 it was yani a lot of people have been depending on that somebody and then you you decide to kill him or her are you benefiting uh, from that killings or what is not happening in our country guys our kenya is no longer a country a lot of killings a lot of abductions i don't know what is happening what wanakuwa tortured eh huh? mimi hata huyu mc wa wajiri ndio yusuf anaitwa yusuf yusuf kifo yake ndio ilinishangaza walimudunga dunga vizu na wakamfanyia tabia mbaya imagine Imagine wana mdunga dunga visu mamisumari hata kama ni revenge ya haina gani guys jifunzeni kusamehe Look at this guy this 25 years old billionaire uh, 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 Dennis Dennis she's Denu Denu Bright Denu Bright the young millionaire he was having a uh, 10 million uh, dollars uh, in crypto account He was killed. Hey, uh, may God save our country, guys. Allow me to end this video here. I don't want to talk much about it and I don't want to get em emotional. Uh, but guys, remember uyu uyu jama mwenye ameuliwa alikuwa re human resource manager, but alikuwa ametegemewa na watu wengi sana. Na ujiulize, wewe utasaidia hao watu? Mwenye umeua huyu human resource manager utasaidia watu wenye walikuwa wame Yaani guys may god punish you may you never know peace may you never have peace in your lifetime may that blood you have shed follow you unto may that blood hunt you until you are dead may you die a painful dead Enough is enough guys whoever is going to abduct torture and kill somebody may that blood hunt you till you are dead may you die a painful dead guys i don't want to talk much it's okay but the way at which kenyans are being killed it is alarming 
tukuja pamoja and let's pray for our country let's pray for these viongozi wenye mnaona sio wazuri sana let's pray for these prophets in Kenya wengine they are doing sacrifice Hizi churches mingi zenye mnaona zimekuwa mingi. Unaosikia mtu akiambiwa aenda uwe fulani ndio church yako iende viral, ndio church yako sijui ifanye nini. Wangi wanakuja kutuambia at the end of the day. So guys, let me know what you think. Kwa nini waliua huyu HR? Bye bye.